Hi everyone, this is Athena. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Embrace Natural Beauty, where it is my goal to share with you simple tips and techniques that have been helpful to me in my own natural hair journey, that have helped me to maintain my hair, to keep it in good condition and retain length, because I want you also to maintain your hair, keep it in good condition and retain length so that you enjoy your hair and embrace natural beauty of your own. Today I have the pleasure of sharing with you some very simple tips and techniques that I use in order to moisturize my low porosity hair. Um, this video is going to cover seven steps that I use on wash day. And I also wanna let you know that it's a quick reference guide. Many of you have been asking me these questions on here on YouTube as well as on my Instagram and my Facebook and have been inboxing me. So I wanna make sure I have a, a point of reference that I can send you to to get this information really quickly. But I also want you to know that I am working on a comprehensive video that gives you more demonstration of how I go about moisturizing using these very tips and techniques. Plus there are some other things that I do that I'm gonna show you some comparisons of how well they work either for me or for my clients. So I hope you enjoyed this particular video and I look forward to your comments and your questions and your feedback. Thank you so much. Step one, we're going to apply warm water, not hot, but as warm as you can stand it on your bare skin. Use your arm, not your hand, to test it out on because your arm is more sensitive and can let you know if it's scorching too hot for your hair. Once you've got the temperature right, go ahead and apply, drench that water on your hair, and make sure you squeeze the hair in order to encourage the cuticle layer to open up and receive more of the moisture. Otherwise, it's just going to roll off the hair. It's not going to penetrate well. Now you're going to prepare for deep conditioning by cleansing, sectioning, and removing excess water. So here I've just applied some shampoo. I didn't really go through and detangle or anything like that. I just put it on top and I squeeze it through. And again, I'm rinsing it off and squeezing it through, uh, getting more moisture in again. To prepare uh, my hair to receive the deep conditioning product, I am putting my hair into a twist in order to um, remove excess moisture so that the deep conditioner can adhere to the hair. I will go ahead and apply a deep conditioner that's not too thick and again, always put my hair in sections and get ready to go onto the steamer. I sit under the steamer for about 30 minutes in order to allow it to penetrate and there's the steam. Now, in between shampooing, you can prepare your conditioner um, and your leave-in conditioner to be warmed up. So you pour the boiling hot water into a bowl and a Put your container of conditioners into that bowl. Never microwave or boil the conditioners themselves. Now you go ahead and cleanse your scalp and your hair of that deep conditioner and any other product that was there. And you can use the warmed up conditioner uh, to do your detangling. That way you're getting more moisture into your hair again. And of course you detangle with your wide tooth comb. Your fingers first and your wide tooth comb. And then I like to finish off with um, a fine tooth comb. And then as I work in sections, I leave the conditioner on until I'm ready to rinse it out and apply the moisturizer. Applying the moisturizer, I want to just bring your attention to the fact that if you use a conditioner that's too thick or if you don't warm up the conditioner and it's too thick, it's just going to sit on top of your hair like a film. Whereas if you use a um, conditioner that's been warmed up or if it's not too thick, it will literally melt into your hair and blend into your hair and you will get the benefits of that moisturizer. So here on the top, remember I put that thick conditioner on just for your example. You can notice a film or it looks like dust sitting on top of your hair. That means that that did not absorb into your hair. You're not going to get the full benefits of that moisturizer. You really want it to look like it. I showed you here. Either it's, it's been warmed up and it will melt or it's light enough that it will blend into your hair. And it will absorb into the surface of your hair and you will get the benefits of the moisturizer. It should be nice and shiny and smooth like this. That's what you want to see when you've applied your moisturizer. And so here what I'm doing is I am making sure I get penetration of the moisturizer by squeezing it into a twist. I encourage the conditioner to go to the surface and then that way I know it's going through, it's passing through all of those hairs in that section. And then I'll start to spread it out and I can actually see if there's portions of the hair that's dry and apply more directly in there. Afterwards, I go ahead and apply the gel and you see I am literally squeezing it at the top because we're applying force in order to press and push that product in because it's resistant. And I make sure I pull the product all the way through to have complete definition of the hair strands. 
And then finally, as I said, I always work in sections, so I will do this at each section and then eventually bring everything down and blend it together and reapply more gel, more finisher as needed. So I will apply to the ends as well as um, when I bring those two low porosity sections together into one, I always have to apply more product in the center area where it's really puffy and and um, where it doesn't, you know, retain as much moisture. So I'm done, right? Mm, no, there's still some frizz. So what do I do? Either the same day or the next day, I will go ahead and apply some more product. I mean, the hair is already kind of moist, so it's going to it's gonna be receiving it even better. So I'll go ahead and put some water, put some more product. And if I if Reagan Smooth doesn't work, then I'll go ahead and lay it down as if I'm doing edges. I mean, I will do this whole section like that. And if laying it down still doesn't get it to stick together and clump together well enough for me, I will um, lay it down and put bobby pins or duckbill clips because, again, I'm applying force in order to get the hair to do what I need it to do. And here I am on that wash day. I have the, the bobby pins in. And then later that day after the hair is fully air dried, I have the definition that I was looking for. Thank you for watching this quick reference guide. And as a reminder, there will be a more comprehensive version uploading onto my channel within the next couple of days. Thank you so much for watching and continue to stay connected to me on social media platforms. Thank you.